What is going on, guys? My name is Mike. Welcome to SBMR Games. Today, we are playing Cube 2. Uh, this is a game that I got from Humble Bundle. Um, it's one of the later unlocks that came out last month. So, yeah, we're just going to play it. I played it a little bit yesterday, and it was sick. So, I was like, you know what? I got to make this a series because I really like these puzzle games, and I like Portal, Portal 2, like some of my favorite gaming memories are on those games so we are also streaming this live on twitch at struggle bus squad if you guys want to follow uh, my twitch channel link will be in the description so let's get it we're gonna start a new game i only had like maybe two three hours into the last game i think it was at like level five or something but this game is so awesome i wanted to do a whole actual series I didn't know I could walk forward. I don't remember doing this last time. Anyone help me. Please. And I'm not sure what engine they made this game on but I would guess maybe the Unreal Engine but whatever engine they made this game on is amazing like I don't think you need a beast of a PC to run this game at high settings but man at high settings like you'll see when we get into the game the reflections on the walls the reflections of lights on other on the floor and it's it's unbelievable. I don't know that much about game design, but I do know when a game looks beautiful. And was really well done with all the lighting and stuff like that. This is Dr. Amelia Cross. I, I'm, I'm picking up your signal. I repeat, I am reading you clearly. Please, I, I don't know what's happened, but I need help. See what I mean? Your systems are slightly damaged. I can't identify what your rank was either. Looks like you're suffering from cryogenic induced amnesia. Very smooth. What? Well, what are you talking about? You must have been part of Vitruvius, tasked with destroying the cube. Damn. The escape pods must have brought us both back to the origin planet. That life suit you're wearing, you can manipulate the cubic structures with it. We used the same design to destroy an extraterrestrial object that was on a collision course with Earth. I don't know what the hell is going on, but... Look at that. Just tell me what I need to do. Okay. I've detected a human distress beacon coming from the peak of the structure you're in. Your signal is weak because of this blasted sandstorm. I can't lock onto you. That beacon is above the storm. If you can just make it there, you should be clear. If you rendezvous with any other survivors, I should be able to use my teleporter to extract us all and get home. Right. Okay. I think I can do that. But yeah, the second I loaded into this game, I just knew right away that whatever engine they used and whoever designed this game, like, just to walk around the game and be like, wow, is a, a thing in itself. Now, obviously, the stream you guys probably are seeing, like 720, 60 FPS, still looks nice, but the YouTube video is full 1080 60 so 
you're really getting a getting to experience pretty much what I'm getting. Obviously, I have the capped frame rate of 120, so or the max frame rate of 120, so I'm getting it on nice monitor, super smooth. Looks awesome. And yeah, like I said, portal. Oh. Microphone stand without it being super loud and oh, obnoxious. Can you hear me? There we go. God, what have I got myself into? Yeah, but what, like I was saying, Portal and Portal 2 are like one of my favorite games of all time. Definitely not my favorite game of all time, but they're up there as like sort of staples of gaming. Yeah, even all the reflections in this game, they did a good job with it. Emma, I've I found something. Oh, still no signal. Yeah, so as far as 2019 goes, this is the best game I've played all year. Obviously, not saying much. It's only been 2019 for seven days. <laughs> um, okay, let's take the red one. The, uh, making sure there's not a cutscene here. The funny thing was that I think I already had this game given to me by Twitch a while back. So I kind of wish I didn't redeem this because then I could give it to somebody else. Um, but now I accidentally have two copies, so. <laughs> but I believe it was a Twitch Prime loot game. And then Humble Bundle last month gave it to me for but I, I think sometimes with those twitch prime loot games i just redeem them redeem them redeem them and i don't even look like there's just so many of them and sometimes i feel like kind of bangers slip through you know like really good games kind of make their way through and i don't even pay attention to them you know I think. Good. Listen, I wanted to ask, what do you remember before waking up? I don't. Not really. 
I think I was heading towards a job, a dig site in Scotland. I was in a helicopter with my team. And you don't remember what happened? No, I don't. Are you interrogating me, Emma? Because it sure as hell feels like it. Emma? Oh, God damn it, this stupid thing. I best continue. All right, I turned up the game volume a little bit. It seemed just a hair low. Yeah, not to mention like puzzle games are just have always sort of been something I've really enjoyed. Chapter three, House of Leaves. Okay, so I wasn't too far. I was at chapter five yesterday. Oh, another type. Oh, gotta move my mic again. Don't be screechy and annoying. Uh -huh. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. It's like the structure itself can duplicate and grow. I mean, I mean, you just look at the freaking ground. And they're like real time reflections. It almost looks like there's freaking plants or something in the reflection there. Oh no, that's just like this floor itself. The dirt on the floor. Oh man, dude. Sorry guys. The video is going to be like, Mike, we get it. Graphics are sick. Could you shut up now? And I'll be like, nope. Why the hell did I put that there? I messed it, messed it up again. Damn. Ah, crap. Not what I wanted. Close. Okay. We got it, we got it. Not too bad. Fair enough. I'm 
imagine that goes there. Um, oh shit, that needed to be back. Cruise through that level. I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep these episodes, at least for YouTube. I'm thinking today's probably going to be like an hour, hour and a half. Emma, can you read me? I'm reading you. Are you alright? I've come across an exterior space. The storm has cleared up and, well, there's life here. There's water and plants. That's unexpected. This doesn't look accidental either. The structure of the space, the organization of it, it looks purposeful. It reminds me of my husband. In what way? Oh, he, um, he works with plants. You should move on, Millie, before another storm comes. Agreed. Speak soon. <laughs> Cool. In transmission. Lost the transmission. Ooh, do we get to have the green block? Cool. Yeah, so I'm actually not too far away from where I was. Code colored green enabled. Recommended action. Place green cube on white panel. Uh, actually, push. There we go. Also, I think like some of these levels I have, I did yesterday, so that's helping me out a little bit. Without a doubt. So I'm sure it will get slower as I get to the harder levels. It's a glitchy block. So what do you think these structures are? Well, we know they have internal machinations and seem to perform tasks with no need for external input. A cybernetic system of sorts, reacting and adapting. The gloves were built to change that, or at least divert its functions temporarily. But what's their purpose? All I know is that we had to stop that vessel from colliding with Earth. The structure you're in, God knows what they're used for. Anyway, let's focus on finding that beacon as soon as possible. 
possible. I'm not mistaken, I definitely could not have a blast with this one. Easier now, but crap. I'm gonna scrubble up a dub dub. Yeah, I don't know why that one took me so long. <laughs> Before. But I spent a lot of time on that one previously. Alright. Middle mouse button to delete a cube. Or delete your cubes. Okay. Send that back over here. Actually, fuck it. Uh, let's do put that. That was easy enough. Turkey. I'm actually not sure. Which one I jumped to, but Give that a try. A red, a red, a red. Pretty straightforward. What the heck is this thing? Please take me. Take me. My heart beats. But I want it to beat for you. I want to become one. She said we would become one. Don't leave me on my own. Not without her. Emma. What? What is it? I... I think it's human, or... or was. Now I don't know what it is. The statue. And it was saying something. No, not saying. A radio transmission of sorts. I don't know, this is messed up. Millie, whatever it was, it just means we need to find the location of that signal as soon as possible. Okay? Then we can find a place to rendezvous. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry, it just... I'm sorry. It's fine, it's fine. Let's just keep going, okay? Hmm. Strange. Okay. Emma, I've emerged into a large chamber. Can you tell me how far I am from the beacon? Your altitude shows that you're about halfway there. There's a strange machine in here. I'm going to investigate it, see if it can help me find my way around this place. Hmm. I can't decipher this, Emma. The language is like nothing I've ever seen. There are some things I can make out in illustration. Like, it seems to be a physical transportation machine. An elevator or monorail that ascends. It's hard to understand. It's connected to the three doorways by these large cables. I wonder if it's something that can be powered, taking us towards the beacon. Alright. Let's keep on what moving now. I, I have no idea. But whatever it was, it seems to have turned this machine on and... It's opened one of the doors. What are you going to do? I'm going to follow this cable and find out what this machine does. Be careful, Millie. Yeah, I still can't get over how, like, good this game looks. Or whatever engine they used. Whether it be Unreal or whatever engine is really good. 
Super smooth, all the shadows look amazing. Cool game. Not to mention I kind of like puzzle games a little as well, so. Reminds me a little bit of Portal, but with enough of a twist that it's completely different. Okay. Chapter 5. Emma, can you read me? I can. The signal's a lot better now. Good. I found what these cables are connected to. It looks like a power reactor. Do you think you can power it? Is it safe? I don't know if it's safe for sure, but it certainly does something. There are four doorways connected to it via cables. One of them seems accessible. The door behind me is also locked, so it doesn't seem like I have much choice. Okay. Follow the cable through the open door and see if there's a power source connected to it or a way to open these other rooms. Got it. Okay. Not supposed to go over there quite yet. This one is open. Switch this real quick. Make sure my ah. had to check if my stream, all that stuff was updated, so that's good. It looks like these cables lead through to more rooms. I'm gonna follow them. See if they connect to anything that can help power that central machine. Good idea. Let me know if you find anything useful. I have no feet. If I do, I can't see them. There we go. What's this opening and closing? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, maybe I might have done that one first. Um.
cool, cool. We're good on that one. I've not seen this technology before. I wonder what it does. I had a pretty good speed run on Portal. Well, it was, it, I guess it really wasn't a speed run as much of as much as it was just sort of because they didn't like glitch or anything. I know like some of the speed runners use a lot of glitches and stuff to get through games. So I I don't know. I I'm pretty sure I completed the whole Portal, the original, uh, in under an hour. I'd have to check the exact timestamps and see what it was. Why am I going this way? Oh, I have to. <laughs> Makes sense. Try it out again. Here. Oh, uh, this one is a little tricky, if I'm not mistaken. So that stays on. I just gotta hit that better. Stop. Let that open up as far as it goes. Well, bam. Easy enough. Emma, that cable is connected to a terminal. It seems to have sent some form of energy back to that reactor and unlocked the other doors in this room. I'm going to check it out and follow the other cables attached to the reactor. Let's see what's behind these doors. Maybe so now, something here, Millie. Report on any changes. So at this point right now, I am completely caught up to where I was yesterday. So the puzzles are about to get a wee bit tougher. That is for sure. Hmm. Now 
that's not what I wanted. Uh, Get him the block. Over there. You know what I might do? Put that there. See if I can't. I don't know. That seems like a awfully difficult way to go. But I mean, it could be. Oh crap! I'm an idiot. <laughs> I have to not make that blue until the end. So, it doesn't exactly help me get up there. How does it? Hmm, how am I going to do that now? Um... No, yeah, I need that block. Okay, okay. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Hey, I actually figure, figure the damn puzzle out. I think. I don't want to speak too soon. Now this next one, 100% got me last time, so we will try. Eh, can't go through there. Alright, what do we got? We got a door up there. That door's still locked. A couple of those doors are still locked. That one up there open? Now nah, we'll go this one. Okay, actually, I... Alright, I do remember this one. Um...
I don't know if I made the right call there. <laughs> I definitely did not. Definitely did not. No. Really? <sighs> Guessing I got the... to get rid of that block. Hmm, really? I thought I was standing behind it. Should be this time. Cool. <laughs> Easy enough. Another challenge unlocked. I think we got one more door. This one's already powered. So yeah, it's just that one. Alright, so this one was giving me a good bit of trouble yesterday, but I think what I needed to do is kind of just step back. I feel like I get tunnel visioned a little bit. Bam. What if I go here, here? Why would there be an advantage to having this over here? Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll drop that. But like I said, I don't necessarily see a huge... ...advantage to this slider. need the green block like now that moves that way hmm Let me think about this
Okay. Unless I'm missing something. Or I'm missing something. So I have to be here. Drop the cube, the cube goes here, I get off. Now that's close. Are they just expecting you to... Oh, okay, cool. I got it. Uh, that wasn't too bad. At all. Now I can go back and forth. Okay, yeah, that wasn't bad. I knew it had to be there. But I think yesterday I tried and I just couldn't get it close enough. But, um... That kind of made sense to me, so not too bad. My level is not as difficult as I thought. Is that? I think whatever you're doing in there is having an effect on the greater structure. Let's hope it's a good thing. This reactor seems to be fully powered and is sending something back to that machine. I'm gonna check it out. Oh my god, I'm just Hans. I am literally just Hans. Please help me. I'm just Hans, man. Now I'm nothing. I have no Hans. This machine is powered by a third, and another door connected to it has opened. How fascinating. Okay, Millie, I trust your judgment. Let's see if it actually works as you think when all thirds are powered. I'm on it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not good. Another elevator. More levels. Or coffee, that means. Oh, what the fuck is... Mm. Damn it. Sorry, guys. Cube. It said I was playing so it said Subnautica. I'm like, really? Really dog. Ditch down. Quite dumb. Another reactor. Let's get this thing powered. Yikes. There's a lot of cords power of this bad boy. Guess we'll go in this door. Yeah, we're updated now. I mean, it wasn't a huge deal, but... Because I was in the right game category. For. 
Oh, um, fuck, where's... Wait. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? <laughs> oh, mega law. I got all turned up there. I was super confused. And disoriented. Okay. <laughs> okay. What am I trying to do here? Where am I trying to go? Oh. Pretty sick. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that thing like to can toss you. Um, hmm. Sweet. Just open up. Hmm. Okay, so that brings up that. That brings up that. Okay. Oh, here we go. I need need that to be up like that. I'll put that there. Oh crap! Damn it! Should have been standing there. Okay. Too bad, not too bad. Emma, can I ask you a question? What would you like to know? So many things are running through my mind. I mean, you were sent to destroy that extraterrestrial object, right? I was, as were many. So, how did we develop this manipulation technology? We tracked the vessel for years since it entered the solar system, intercepting signals from it, decoding them. We learned about its structure, but not its host. And you use this data to what? Develop this technology I'm wearing? It was going to kill everyone on Earth, Millie. It was an invasion. Sorry. Hmm. I just... I just need to orient myself. That's all. You've got to admit, this situation is somewhat out of the ordinary. I know. This journey, it's not what I expected either, Millie. There's nothing under there now. Man, that doesn't, yeah, that won't get me high enough. Um, let me see something. Oh, this, my, this one's actually gonna stump me a little bit. Um, well, 
That actually might work. It should definitely get me up there. But then I'm not high enough. Um. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, unless... No, I don't... Hmm. I'll try it, but I don't, I don't think it's going to work. And then I could like... Uh, no, that won't work. Hmm. Damn it. Let me try standing pretty much as far back as I can go. Now that one seemed like maybe I could get up to that top one. So we'll try it as far as back as I can go. No. Hmm. Probably missing something super easy here. Oh shit, I'm an idiot. Yo, yo. This is not that hard now that I think about it. Oh no. That was it. That was it. Damn it. I had one viewer. He left. <laughs> Lol. That's okay, though. I was spending too much time on that anyway. But, I mean, that is how these, how these things work. Oh, that's sick.
that, so I gotta like fall onto it. But it's gotta be timed like just right. Fuck. Even then, I don't know if it's actually. Okay, I don't know how that happened. Okay, I don't know. How super duper cooper excited I am about that, but whatever. <laughs> Sweet. I guess. <laughs> I'm up here now, yay. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Sweet. I don't know how. Ask me to repeat that level. Not happening. <laughs> no, I don't think it's humane to knock her away. She needs medical attention. And she needs to be looked after. She don't know what you're dealing with, James. So just do me a favor and drop the management bullshit. Weird. How are these other rooms? One step ahead of you. Alright. Well, that's going to call it an end for episode one. Um, at least for the YouTube. So.